All right, everybody, welcome to my dirty workbench. I told you it was dirty, it is unorganized, but guess what? It is what it is. So, I'm going to give you my final review of this 1970 uh, Dodge Charger. This is the second time I'm going to film this, because I started filming this about an hour and a half ago, and the, uh, the tornado sirens started going off. Here in the Chicago area, we got hit with a big uh, supercell. They had 84-mile-an-hour winds registered at O'Hare Airport. So, luckily, my area didn't get any rain. I was just to the west of it but uh i know i called my mom because uh they were in a direct path of it so everybody's okay in my family so i hope everybody's okay too i didn't see any news um if anybody was hurt or what i know there were some downed trees and stuff but yeah so yeah a couple tornadoes ran through the area just now this evening so welcome to summer in chicago so like i said i hope everybody's okay so, here's my review. I guess it's a review, but I'm just showing you my build of the 1970 Dodge Charger. It's Dominic. It's a car from the Fast and Furious movies. This was, I love the Fast and Furious movies for one. They're great movies. I really liked them when they were originally street racing movies. Now they're kind of like private militia type movies. But you know what? Still got great cars, great acting. I love the people in the movies. They entertain me. And you know what? That's what movies and TV is supposed to be all about, right? Entertaining yourself. To entertain me, so don't have to think about it. Plus, I get to look at cool cars because I like cars. So, anyways, I showed you earlier I was building it. I uh, had the interior going and the engine going. You guys uh, were loving the engine, so I, I really appreciate that. I had the car painted in a tester's blue, which looked really, really sharp. And I said I probably should have used it for a '69 Camaro because I really, really thought that was cool. But uh, I had two cans of it, but. Coming down to the uh, the last spray that I had wanted to do on it, it kind of, you know, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Sprinkled itself all over. So I took a can of, I don't have, woo, box goes bye-bye. Anyways, I took a can of, um, to me, uh, I think it was mica red, and I sprayed over it because I had it sitting there, and it was just sitting there waiting for me to use it. Problem was, was I used a Tamiya paint over a tester's paint, so I didn't really get a great result of the paint job. So, me trying to be ingenious as I am, I scrambled to look for decals to put over it because you know this is kind of a race car here, and you know make it a race car. Yeah, it's got the road cage, the big, uh, big fatties on the back, so I'll make it a race car. What I ended up doing was I found the decals that I didn't use for the 1968 Dodge Charger if you're making it the uh, the race version I took the 68 Charger I took the 68 Dodge Dart decals and I kind of mashed them together so here is let me move the car here so we can see it let's lower down here on this dirty workbench this mamma jamma of a car so like I said the paint is not that great. As you can see, it's bubbly, it's cracking, got that orange peel. So, that's why I put the decals over it. So, that, 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 try that again without the stroke. The um, striping was from the 68 Charger. I believe that was from the 68 Charger. The Dodge and the, uh, da, 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 da. The sponsors were from the Dart. This was from a set of American decals that I got that I was using for the um, the Nova kit that I did. What was it? The 71, 72 Nova that I did. The 911 Appreciation build. I don't want to call it a 911 Appreciation. That sounds bad. 911 Memorial build. Let's go with that. Memorial. Um, a lot of you guys have already seen that. If you haven't seen that one, go check that one out. So... The striping on the top. I should try to put the striping on the back there because it's continuous striping. I didn't do it. One stupid thing I really did that was stupid was I put the back on and then put the car onto the chassis without putting the damn tail lights on. So here I got all the tail lights looking really good. But I had to take the car off the chassis to try to get it push it back in there. And you know what? Screw it. So let's look at the passenger side of the car. It is identical to the front side. Or right side, left side. Shut up, Chris. This is not one of my better videos. Which is good, because it's not one of my better cars. Mopar decal broke there. I don't know what the hell happened there. Let's flip it over real quick. Nothing special. 
This is the one with the chassis that I uh, put over a um, over a candle to try to bend it because the chassis up front here was all sorts of warbly wobbly crazy. And as you can see, it doesn't quite sit straight, which is all right. The engine actually doesn't sit straight in here either, which I'm wondering if it's because of the chassis. But then again, it gives it you know room to rumble when you start. It'll be going, how'd that go again? Well, it does. A all right, thank you that now when you open up the hood here i still have the blue from the inside or the blue that i originally painted it because i'm a dork so i guess it could have a backstory saying the guy was repainted the car and then went to drag race it so here's this fancy engine it's got the hook i oh, see the hook fell off the you know they give you these uh awesome uh uh, uh pieces here to, you know hinges was the word I'm looking for. I'm really stroking out on this video here today. I apologize, guys. You know, so it goes up and down, but they just sit on there and then you fall off anyways. So here's that fancy ass engine that you guys all liked, which I appreciate that you guys all liked. Here, see now I'm focused in on all the orange peel there. What a garbage paint job. Hey, at least it's got a good engine. So, all right, that's that. The engine is definitely the pride and joy of this thing. The interior was the uh, the, the gray, the blacks, the dashboard. Hard to see it, so I can flip it around here. Yeah, yeah, nothing special there. Steel roll cage. Roll cage fell off, and I was actually putting it, um, putting the interior into the uh, uh, the, the, the body there, and so I had to re-glue it from the inside, and then I messed up the paint on the. The trim there, so I gotta retouch up that trim. Anyways, let's just look at it from afar and enjoy it. Get your oohs and ahs. Oh, I dropped the camera. What a doofus. This is not my better video. I apologize, everybody. So, anyways, I'm going on over seven minutes of talking about nothing. So, here's the 1970 Dodge Charger. Not one of my better builds, but I think it's cool nonetheless. And you know what? Can't have a win every build, right? Alright. So the next one on my list is actually I'm going back to the uh I had the video ooh, I had the video of the Dale Earnhardt car here. Uh that had the decals that were all messed up. It was missing the yellow striping on the decals uh, around the, the three and the, the striping. It was just black and red. I ordered a uh, set of power slides off of eBay. So as I wait for those to come in, I am going to start working on this car. And this car is going to go into storage. That box, I'm going to cut up and keep the tops. Because for some reason, I always keep the tops of the box. I have a whole stack of them. I don't know why. I just do. It's one of my little quirks. Also, I might clean up my workbench here, because this is just gross. A lot of stuff going on here. There's, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. So anyways, here's my 70 charger. And uh, if you guys are watching, I hope you're doing well. Hey, the puppy's coming in to visit. Hey, Molly, how you doing? Molly, look up. Hey, Boogie. Here, the dog's looking. Here you go. How you doing, Boogie? You good girl. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the happy folk. Hey. Hey, my armpit. Hey, there you go. How you doing? Ooh, coming up to join us? All right. You good girl. So, there you go. So, everybody, hope you're all going to do well. Hope you're all going to do well. Hope you are doing well. This video is not my better videos. So I'm going to stop now before you guys unsubscribe to me. By the way, if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. I'll give you updates on the Dale Earnhardt car. I'll see you guys later.